Yes. Welcome back to 1001 Beers, the Marshall Field Diet. I'm here in Scratch in Madison, which is a, kind of like a fusion restaurant. Um, I've got a nice bar here. We're here in Happy Hour, but we're not drinking Happy Hour beers because I've found a beer that's been drinking for ages, which is Pliny the Elder, which apparently it's, it's never dropped out of uh, like the top 50 beers on ratebeer.com. It's been normally in the top 10. It's by Russian River Brewing Company, and it's 8%. Um, I love the, the sort of the bottle. It's uh, just classic. It doesn't really speak for itself. And this is rare as Hensley, so I've got Tim behind the camera again. And we just went to another bar, and we ordered it, and it's, we, they literally ran out as they were pouring, the, pouring the, our, our first glass. And they went, no more Clyde, because it was an Irish guy behind the bar. That was a terrible accident, but there we go. Um, so what we've got here is, uh, well, it doesn't say we're the bottle on, but it's got story. It says, um, does not improve with age. Hoppy beers are not meant to be aged. Keep away from heat. Respect your elder. Keep cold. Drink fresh. Do not age. Pliny the Elder is a historical figure. Don't make the beer inside this bottle one. Not a barley wine style age. Do not age. Age with cheese, not your Pliny. Respect hops. Consume, consume fresh. If you must, sit on eggs, not on Pliny. Do not save for a rainy day. Pliny is for savouring, not for saving. Consume Pliny fresh or not at all. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, let's, let's pour this into this nice, nice chat as well. Oh, yeah. Now, expectations are high on this. So the other beer I've had where expectations is very, very high. And I started disappointing with West, West Collection 12, which is the Belgian beer, which always is very, very popular. Uh, but now I can smell it already. It smells lovely. So this is a double IPA. I don't know what hops it uses. I haven't got the book with me. I don't think I need the book for this one. So let's go for the smell. This one's really nice, actually. Sod it. Let's go for the taste. Cheers. Oh, that's really nice. It doesn't taste like a double IPA. It's really smooth. Um, it's almost got like a champagne-like quality to it. Uh, not really citrusy, it's just like super mellow. I, I can't believe it's 8%. Um, it's really, really good. It's not the best I've ever had, I'm going to say. Uh, I don't really know. I wouldn't say it deserves its reputation, but it is a really good beer. Uh, it's very, very tasty indeed. Um, just let me tell you about Pliny the Elder. It says Pliny the Elder was a Roman naturalist, uh, scholar, historian, and author. In his writings, he refers to Lupus selectarius, meaning wolf among scrubs, likely an early reference to hop vines growing wild among willows. Pliny the Elder died in 79 AD while saving people during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. He was immortalized by his nephew and adopted son, Pliny the Younger. Pliny the Elder, the beer, his full body is hot full with double OPA. Keep refrigerated for consumer fresh, the best enjoy this beer's intense hot flavour. Well, it is nice and fresh, it is refrigerated. Not doing it in the hotel room. This is really nice. And, uh, let's have another taste. Is there anything in the meantime or we'll go with the drinks? I think we'll get yeah, we're doing a video review here. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> got, to, got to take the record of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, so, that's really good. And it's, it's actually it's becoming, uh, it's developing far more of a character. Um, yeah, another actually I will say, I'm going to, it's just, it's, it's brought a smile to my face, so I'm going to leave that one there, and then Tim can have some results, so I can only use Champions for it. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the series you soon. Thanks, Tim. <laughs>